Hello, everyone. Today, what we're going to be learning and talking about is how to create a gang sheet for your DTF transfer. So we're going to show you how to create a gang sheet in Silhouette Studios, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do what we do to get this party started, and we're going to share our screen. We're going to go to Silhouette. Share. Clear off some of this. Uh, move this up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move this up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new file. Over here in our right-hand corner where it says Page Setup Panel, we want to select the Page Setup Panel. The panel is already up. So what we're going to do is... um. For our DTLs, we're going to be offering uh, 24 inches. So we're going to have a design space of 22 inches. And we're offering up to 96 inches. So 22 inches wide and 96 inches in height. Right now, that's what BBH DTL transfers are going to be offering for our DTFs. So for our gang sheet, what we're going to do is we're going to... And that's the largest as of right now. So for our width, we're going to go ahead and put in 22. And for our height, we're going to go ahead and put in 96 inches, okay? So when you do that, you'll see this long slender 22 by 96 inches um, design space. Now what we're going to go in, and we're going to go in, and we're going to go to file, and we're going to go place. I'm going to merge, okay? So I am going to just pick the items that we showed you how to turn into a PNG. So for learning, for our learning um, and our training, we created a PNG file. So for this purpose, I'm going to hit OK. And my file is going to be placed. So this is one file. So when you're creating a gang sheet, and this is not the file that I want because I need this to be transparent. Remember, in order to create a ready-made image, a print-ready image for your gang sheets and for your DTF, you must have a transparent background. So I'm going to go ahead, go down here, and I am going to so I'm going to go ahead and act. I want to make get some DTS of my logo. So my logo is transparent. My logo is transparent. I am going to maximize the screen so that you can see a little better. So this is my logo. My logo is transparent. This is a, let me make this a little bigger so you can see. This is a ready to print image for DTF. If I want this for a DTF image, this is what I'm going to put. What I want to do is I want to size this. So I'm going to say, since I have a 22 um well 22 inch well i'm going to do this as a 10 by 10 image okay so 10 by 10 i want the width to be 10 as well so we have our width is 10 and we have our height is 10 so that makes this a 10 by 10 image so if I have a 10 by 10 and I'm saying I just want a whole gang sheet of my logos to place on my shirts, um, I'm going to be doing T-shirts, jackets, and hoodies. So because I'm going to be doing T-shirts, jackets, and hoodies, I'm doing a gang sheet. The 
advantage of this is that you can fit as many images on one set of printout without individually purchasing them um, a, a image. So I am going to say I have one 10 by 10. I am going to minimize the screen so you can see what I'm doing. So I have one 10 by 10. But I want this whole gang sheet of 10 by 10. So let's see how many 10 by 10s I'm able to fit on my 22 by 96 gang sheet, okay? So what I'm going to do is to make this a little quicker, I'm just going to go up here to my duplicate and I'm going to duplicate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm duplicating ten just to start working with. And what you want to do is you want to place these images in your gang sheet as close as you can to where you can separate. And I'll maximize my image in just a minute so you can see. So I did ten at 10 by 10 of this of my logo image i did 10 and we can get them as close as we can without them touching because remember the way you arrange your image on your gang sheet and save it. That is the way it is going to print. So that's the importance of having your images print ready with a transparent background because you're actually able to um so that no white or any other color if you don't want that to be printed. So right now on this gang sheet, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right now I have a total of 11 and I can actually double that. So I'm going to do nine more. I'm going to go ahead and either I can do that or I can select all of these, move them to the side, select all of these, and I can just duplicate that, make a whole nother row. And now we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now I have 20 images. I have 20 images or 20 designs in this gang sheet that are 10 by 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and I want to group them together. Because remember, you want to group them together. So let me zoom in so you can see what I did. So as you can see, these images are not touching. And actually, on a gang sheet, if you had some smaller ones and you could fit them in between these spaces, you are able to do that as well. I am going to show you an example of that. The purpose of a gang sheet is so that you're able to fit as many images as you can on your sheet. So, I am going to minimize this. Say I just want this like maybe on a lapel or 
something small. And it has to be big enough to where it's um it can be covered. So let's see how that looks. Let me bring that up. See if that fits. It may not fit. See what size this is. Guys, you have to be mindful as well of the size. So that may be, that may not fit, but if you had something else that you wanted or if you minimize it, just have to be mindful. And then you could fit the little images in between. Just want to make sure that you have enough room that when you are cutting these apart, that you're not going to cut that image. So let's go back. So now that we have grouped, take this back out so you can see now that we have grouped these images together i know that's very small don't go ahead and get rid of those let me bring this up a little bigger so now that you have grouped your images together i like to hit that um center of page so that my images are centered it's all one image is centered everything is spaced good make sure that all of our images are fitting in my design space because that is the key so that you do not get any image um, cut off in the printing now that we have everything grouped together as you want it now we have to go, we have our design space saved as a 22 by 96. We have found out that we have made 10 by 10. So we have, so we have 10, 10 by 10s. And then we have two sets of 10 by 10, 10 by 10. So we have 20. So this is going to allow us to make 20 t-shirts hoodies, jackets, whatever we want to put these on. Now that we have this gang sheet created, we have to go in to file and we have to save as and we're going to save to hard drive. Now that we're saving to hard drive, I am going to put BBH DTF gang sheet we're going to go to save as type and we want to save this as a png file we're going to go to okay remember we want our dpi to be 300 we're going to hit transparent background to make sure that we have a transparent background for our uploading of our print ready uh, PNGs for our DTFs, okay? And now we're going to hit save. And just like that, you have created your own gang sheet. Another option for a gang sheet is if you have smaller um, images, pocket size images that are like 3.5, 4 by 4, you can fit even more of those onto your gang sheet. This is just an example of a 22 by 96, which BBH DTL transfers going to be offering BBH um, dash customs.com. And you can place your order for your games. Thank you. See you next lesson.